Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Well, hello, my fellow Limitless HBICs. How are you doing on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? It is morning. I have changed. I have put my hair up, but I have not applied makeup because we don't give a fuck today. We don't give a fuck, okay? Poops eating and playing with some treats over here, so hence the clickety clacks you're hearing, okay? Selling myself time. If you need help figuring out what the fuck is going on with your manifestation? Or you just need a virtual slap in the head? Please email me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com. All of my coaching offerings are in the drop box below or they were in the little things you just watched go by. Okay? Uh, is there a little bit of a wait? Yeah. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit of a wait, but that's okay. I'm getting to you. I don't skip. I won't forget you. You won't be left in the darkness forever. I'm coming. I'm coming. I feel you in. Listen, think of it this way. Having a little bit of a wait is a good thing because I'm worth waiting for. Clearly, I have some satisfied people. Okay? Okay? We're getting results over here. Hence... A little bit of wait list. A little bit, a little bit, but it's not long. Don't worry. Don't fucking panic. <laughs> Don't panic. But yeah, manifesting with Kimberly at gmail.com. Uh, let's see. Like I said, I'm going to say it one more time. A little bit of a wait should tell you something. You just some, just saying, I might be, I might, might be patting myself on the back a little bit, but wait doesn't mean terrible. If somebody's being waiting for, usually that means a good thing that they're worth waiting for, okay? Anyway, I don't know, think about it. If there was no wait, wouldn't that tell you something? Not so good, right? No wait at all. When you're all by yourself, that should tell you something. That's why there's a little, little tiny bit of wait, a little tiny bit. Here's that. So, also, if you would like a weekly judging where we pump each other up, we share our little successes during the week. We even share some of our fails because let me say it like this. It's not sharing old stories. It's sharing our fails, what we've learned from them, how we pick ourselves back up and get back to fucking work, get our manifestations. We share those as well. Uh, but I don't want your old story. You can keep your old stories to yourself. We don't want them because we're not trying to upset anybody else. Right? We don't want to trigger anybody. You know, but at the same time, if you're being triggered by somebody else's story, we got to talk about that too. So it's like, it's like a double-edged sword, you know? Like, I don't want to trigger anybody, but at the same time, you're being triggered by somebody else. We need to talk about that as well. We got, we got to talk. So I got, right? <laughs> we got to talk. Because both, both sides need to be dealt with. Yeah? Okay. So there's that. I go live every Tuesday in a Google Meet session with my channel members, okay? I don't know what the fuck Poop's doing. She's going on a tour of the, the townhouse, apparently. Um, I go live on Wednesdays with you all. I go live on my TikTok most Thursdays. Sorry, anything else I'm forgetting? I got lots of things coming up. We know that. Yeah, I think I'm done. Done selling myself, all right? So, today's video is what I'm going to be calling a reminder video. <clears throat> it's a topic that I want revisited. So I'm gonna be touching on a few things and I'm gonna um, read you a couple of fingers. From... All right, all right, all right, all right, we're all good, we're all good, okay? Okay, good girl, okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be giving you we're gonna we're gonna talk about some old Neville Goddard things. And you all know I am not a Neville Goddard strict girl. I'm a Neville girl, but I'm not a Neville strict girl. But I do think if you're to read Neville, go to his later life lectures because you can see his evolvement. Yeah. Um I'm reading a lecture. I'm reading little excerpts from one of his lectures that are nuggets that I think you all need to remember. And don't worry, I'm gonna simplify them. For any of you that struggle to understand Neville, no worries, I'm gonna simplify it. And I know I'm gonna put you in a good mood. I'm gonna make you feel better and I'm gonna make you realize you're gonna get your shit. You're gonna get it. There is never any need for you to worry that you're not gonna get your manifestation. I wanna remove the worry from you. I want to read something and then I'm going to go into a little bit of description here. And this assumption, though false, that is, although reason and the senses deny it, if persisted in, will harden into fact. What does he mean by this? What he means is, whatever you are dominantly focused on becomes an assumption and therefore will harden into fact, which means will manifest out into your 3D. This is why, as of late, I am pushing you to stop telling yourselves you need further work. Stop telling yourselves your self-concepts in the toilet. Stop listening to people that keep telling you you're not going to get your shit if you don't fix this. If you're just a bag of shit who has a terrible self-concept, you're never going to get it or you're manifesting from lack. No more of this talk. No more. It has to stop because we are creating that shit as an assumption within our 3D realities and we need to stop. The more you hear someone tell you, you can manifest from lack. And I've said it and I, I know I've said it and I'm sorry for that. Because that's not helping anybody. It's not. If you notice, there's going to be a rewording of a lot of my own teachings. I'm, going, I'm not going to ever remove my videos, but I'm revamping shit because I have really taken a hard look at my own life and really dive deep into what I did to get all these things. Because all of my things have manifested. I'm making a new list. But all of my stuff is manifested and maintained. Keyword maintained. What have I done to maintain them? I stopped fucking telling myself that I got something to fix. That there's something wrong with me. That I got all this reprogramming to do. No more. I dropped that. I want you to drop it. What we believe and how we believe it is how it's going to manifest for us. Do you have to believe your affirmations, visualization, scripting? No, 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 no. All right. As you do more of it, it will become natural and it will become easier for you to believe. As you manifest more, it will be easier for you to believe. Do not worry if you are affirming and don't believe right now. That is okay. So don't even go there. Okay. But if you continuously tell yourself there is something to fix, there is always going to be something to fix. We've got to stop. This fucking negative energy that is going out within this community. If you notice, I've been talking about it a lot lately. And it's because I'm going to snuff it out. I'm going to snuff it out. No more telling yourself you're doing anything wrong. We stop that now. It is time to create assumptions that are beneficial to us. Beneficial to us. How are they beneficial? We need to start telling ourselves... We have no more reprogramming to do. We are good enough right now. We don't manifest from lack. We manifest in general. We are always in the reality or the state that we get our desires in. We are good enough now. I am not telling you to stop working on your self-concept. I'm not telling you. I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you to stop telling yourself that there's more self-concept work to do. I'm tired of people looking at themselves in the mirror and seeing there's more to fix. There's no more to fix. No more. We are done. 
I want it dropped. Let's create assumptions in our reality that are beneficial to us, not harmful. If you consistently tell yourself there's more to do, there will always be more to do. Period. Okay, sorry. I know I went off on a little tangent on that, but... I want you to keep in mind of something else that Neville said, also from this particular um, lecture. You will never lose the capacity to place yourself elsewhere and make it here. You will never lose the ability to give unto yourself what you are bold enough to appropriate as true of self. What does Neville mean when he says that? You'll never lose the capacity to place yourself elsewhere and make it here. Well, first of all, he's talking about placing himself in London mentally, right? But what he means by this, why he's sharing this, in my opinion, it is to let yourself know that, listen, our ability to affirm, visualize, script, in our conversations, all the things that we do to manifest our desires, right? We will never lose our ability to do that. Our mind is always, at, is always working. Our dominant thoughts, which become our assumptions and beliefs, are what manifesting out into our 3D. Yes? Okay. You're never going to lose that ability. You're always going to have the power to place yourself elsewhere. Meaning, seeing yourself, affirming for yourself that you have your desires. We are consistently, every single day, seeing ourselves in versions. What version do you see yourself at? What version are you affirming for yourself at? I don't mean you need to do this shit 24 fucking 7 either, by the way. I'm just saying, dominantly, what are you telling about yourself? What are you saying to yourself? What are you thinking? What are you scripting? What are you affirming? What are you visualizing? What version? We should always be seeing ourselves right now in this moment as the version of ourselves that has our desires. Why? Because we're not going to be denied them. If we are dominantly in the place of telling ourselves that we have what we want, even if we don't believe it at first, even if we don't believe it, it has to manifest. It has to manifest. I know I went into two different directions in this video, but like I said, this is a reminder video. I am so serious about telling yourselves that you are good enough now and you will have your desire and nothing can stop you. I am so serious that you have the power within you right now, right? And we will never lose this power to dominantly think, dominantly focus, dominantly affirm, dominantly anything. Embodying the state, which is my preference. Dominantly telling yourself your desire is yours and it has to manifest. If you're struggling to believe that, and I understand, especially if, if you're new to this, I know how I felt when I was new to it. I didn't believe it either. I thought it was all a crock of shit. <laughs> but look over your life. Look over your life. You know where your own mind has been. You do. The subconscious mind, no matter what anybody else fucking tells you, is not holding secrets from you. It is not holding secrets. There are no secret inner beliefs that you're unaware of their existence. Your inner beliefs, your fucking assumptions have been playing out your entire life. So look over your life. What are the experiences you have had? There's your proof. There's your fucking evidence of what inner beliefs and assumptions have been playing out for you. Now you've got the control. Now you've got the power to change it all, no matter what anybody tells you. You are a limitless being and you are unstoppable. Let's say it again. You are a limitless being and you are unstoppable. You will not be denied what you want to experience in this 3D. Don't let anybody tell you any different. I promise you, you have this power within you right now, right now in this moment. Stop telling yourself that your shit isn't gonna come. Stop telling yourself that you're not gonna be able to manifest it. Stop telling yourself that you don't have the strength to keep going, or maybe the situation is too big for you. Stop telling yourself that it's not. There are no 
mountains so insurmountable that you can't get around. None. None. And if I got to hold your hand around the whole goddamn mountain, I will. But there is no situation too big for you. I don't care how bleak your scenario looks. I don't care if you have negative, negative dollars in your bank accounts. I don't care if your specific person hasn't talked to you in three years. I don't care. I am telling you, if you dominantly place yourself in the having of these things, although I know it is a struggle sometimes, I know I've lived it, but I also am now on that other side. I've been on this other side and I've maintained this other side. That's how I know you can do it too. I mean it when I say we are limitless. There is nothing we cannot achieve. Okay, and I'm pretty sure this lecture was from 1948. Um, and if you want to know the name of the lecture, I guess that would be nice to tell you, huh? Uh, 1948, assumptions harden into fact. Okay. Um, I just, I just want to make it clear the power that we have in creating our own assumptions. What assumptions are you creating for yourself right now? What, what assumptions? Don't listen to limited people telling you, you can't do this, you can't do that. You can do this to manifest, but you can't do that. Fuck the rules. Fuck the limiting beliefs. Pretty much all my videos are going to be reminding you of that shit going forward because I'm so hyper aware of it. I want it stopped, period. This is the place to come for limitless talk, limitless manifesting. If I didn't think it was possible, I wouldn't fucking talk about it. You decide how you manifest. What feels comfortable for you is good enough to manifest. Got it? And on that note, probably the next couple videos. Here's some videos that I have coming up. Let me maybe easier if I just say it that way. I do have a few more videos that I'm making from this lecture because I just love this lecture. And there's good little nuggets to help you guys. But also, I have my channel membership. I ask them to if they have any questions, assumption questions, blah, 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 blah. blah. I'm going to record from that. I'm going to record that. It's an answer video. I had someone ask me to make a video if they want, if you guys wanted to ask questions about me uh, and my life, my, my creations, my, what, my manifestations. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe, yeah. So I, that, that I'll put up in a post though. So why am I telling you that? I do have the success story video coming. I, I do. It's coming. Um, I'm revamping some old videos since my mindset has greatly changed since really diving deep and how I'm manifesting and maintaining, manifesting and maintaining. Um, yeah, I guess that's that for now, guys. Okay. So I'm going to read it one more time for you. And this assumption, though false, that is, although reason and the senses deny it, if persisted in, will harden into fact. Okay. I'm going to leave on that. You can create any assumption you want, even if you don't believe it right now, even if your 3D is telling you a completely different story. If you persist in the assumption, if you are making it your dominant thought, your dominant assumption, no matter what you're manifesting, if you dominantly think of it, <laughs> if it's your dominant thought, thought it will harden into fact there's no choice this is why we can be do and have whatever we want no matter what anybody else tells you we are limitless and on that note i'm gonna leave you all okay i'm probably gonna record a bunch of videos today in this fucking outfit so you're gonna see it on repeat okay love you all i'll see you all tomorrow okay be good Come on, think about what you're dominantly focused on. Yeah? What do you want to manifest? Well, it's already created and done. It's yours. So fucking focus on it so it can harden into fact and become in your goddamn reality. Okay? Love you all. See you all.